Do not walk in haste, my friend. Pause. Absorb your surroundings. Breathe. Focus on the senses. Listen to the wind rustling through the underbrush, the crunch of leaves underfoot, frog voices and bird songs. Observe the dappled sunlight filtered by swaying branches, the smallest of hidden creatures, the terrain of the woodland floor. Smell the loamy earth, the citrus forest scents, the scat of deer and squirrel. Feel the bark scarred by initials of lovers, the moss in shadows, the feather and hair. Taste the air, taste the air, taste the air. Reawaken happiness, restore health, explore thoughts and your body connection as you gently pursue peace. in your chair, breathe very deeply, inhale, exhale, Consciously breathe deeply. And exhale slowly. As you allow thoughts to flutter through your mind, on. Focus on your breath, <clears throat> giving your body life, sustenance, peace, calm within you. Breathe in the love and peace of this place.
with every breath, you feel the calmness within yourself.
with this inner peace and calmness as we go. in the morning off with a love song. So won't you come and see the way unfold the story told the lines undone it's better when we're one Time and space cannot define our lives anymore. Lifting off, defying gravity, we know we're free. So won't you come and see? The way unfold the story told the lines undone. It's better when we're one. It's better when we're one. It's 
It's better when we're one. In case anybody's celebrating an anniversary today. But that's also like we're one. The theme of oneness has really been on our mind lately, right? Oneness with each other, but also oneness with all of creation. Yeah. I can't even wake up over here. Sing along with us, y'all. You know this one really well. Oh, 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 oh. So this is waking up the space. Oh, we had a lot of people in here yesterday. So y'all got to reset the energy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and while you sing, think of an intention. Oh, oh, like, what do you want? Oh, 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 oh. And last step, make it feel good. Oh, 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 yeah. Headphones turned up way too loud. It's the kind of day you just roam along, looking for a vibe in your favorite song with the radio on and the radio up. You know we're singing loud because we never give up. I've been feeling something calling me from way inside. So I pause, turn my gaze to the sky. Walking along with my head to the ground. Somewhere to be, no time to look around. People yelling, trucks for an overwhelming sound. Plugging in my headphones just to dim it down with the radio on and the radio up. You know we're singing loud because we never give up. I've been living in the fast lane for way too long. Time to slow it down, might be time to move on. Because I know there's so much more to a life than this. Remembering to give thanks each day we're blessed. And how can you make extraordinary things from an ordinary day? Staring at the sun, time has just begun. Arms as open as the sky, maybe now. It's time to fly from this ordinary day. Here's your part again. Begun. Arms as open as 
across the sky. Maybe now it's time to fly. From this ordinary day, oh, 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 Thanks, y'all. Thanks for Hey, good drums, Luz. That was nice. What is those drums just came out of the, that was channeled up. Okay, we really love nature, and we feel like God is everywhere in nature. If you look at an animal, have you had like an interaction with a deer or something where you just get to like, or like a, um, an owl, we had an owl come right down and just, so this song is in honor of all the animals, it's called Animals, and it's about that. This one too, we need a good drum beat or some oh, claps true. or some stomps yeah. or something, you know, if yeah. you guys want to. You'll boom. feel it. <laughs> one, two, three. When the day is over and the evening sky is barren in, with the blue to orange fading, there's a subtle smell in the air, tempting and seductive, that there's something great awaiting. Bats fly in the tool shed by the water, oh well. Nothing tricks the echolocation. All along the water, there's a sparkle, oh well. Signifying the next big one. When the time has come for looking critically at what's around, to find out the pace of this next run, somewhere, somehow, forces draw together, starting now. Or has the act already begun? Bats fly in the tool shed by the water, oh well. Nothing tricks the echolocation. All along the water, there's a sparkle, oh well, signifying the next big one. And all the wild animals seem to bend about, because they know it's coming, they know how. All the hawks in the sky, perspective from so high, they see how big things are going to be this time. Closing up for nighttime, time to seal these evening fragrances in a deep blue velvet eye mask. Maybe some of this magic will slip in the door behind me if I don't shut it too fast. And all the wild animals seem to bend and bow Cause they know it's coming, they know how All the hawks in the sky, perspective from so high They see how big things are gonna be this time Let's fly in the two shed. Let's fly in the two shed. All around the water, there's a sparkle of oil, signifying the next big one. And all the wild animals seem to bend about Cause they know it's coming, they know how 
All the hawks in the sky puts back the frown so high. They see how big things are gonna be this time. And all the wild animals seem to bend about. Cause they know it's coming. They know how. All the hawks in the sky puts back the frown so high. They see how big things are gonna be. They see how big things are going to be. They see how big things are going to be this time. Thank you so much. And without further ado, we have... The, the Reverend, one, the only, Dr. <laughs> Ken Wilcox. Uh, uh, thank you, Sam. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you, everybody, for coming this Sunday morning and for joining us online. I am, as I said, the Reverend Ken Wilcox. Welcome to the Center for Spiritual Living. If you're joining us here or if you're online, if you're online, let me tell you, you're missing something out because the energy and the vibration of this room, you're not getting it on your Mac. I can just tell you that. <laughs> We're happy to have you, but that's just the truth. Uh, now, uh, let's see, where did I lost myself? Okay, I want you to know one thing. One thing this morning, start off the service. I always remind you to do this. It's a good reminder. And that is to leave all your troubles, your fears, your would-haves, your could-haves, all that stuff outside. And for the next 45 minutes or so, uh, maybe a little bit longer, if Sam and Lucy get on a, a good jig here, <laughs> to open yourself up to spirit's possibilities. Because what are spirit's possibilities? They're more love, more joy, more happiness, more great music, more life, everything in life, everything in life that makes us feel alive that reminds us that life is good, that is spirit showing up in our lives, recognizing itself through our love, our joy, and our laughter. So know you're in a great place, and spirit is going to recognize and reward you abundantly. Well, just a couple of announcements before we get going. What is that, Brenda, you're waving in the audience? <laughs> Stand up, Brenda, please. Brenda is the census, the Vanna White of CSL. She is selling tickets for a raffle for a, a gift card of $100, Amazon. And how much are the tickets? Also, two gift tickets. You got two chances. One ticket for $5. Three tickets for $10. The holidays are coming up. Now's the time, you know, to start figuring stuff out. That Yes, Brenda? Get their money. In other words, if you have family and friends you want to harass for a good cause, <laughs> you know, those people that always ask you, what is that church you go to? Sell them this ticket. They'll stop asking you that. You won't be bothered with them no more. So just see Brenda, and she'll help you out. Now, we also have got an amazing uh, 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 thing coming up. That's our talent show. You'd be surprised how much wonderful talent we have here. It's going to be a fun uh, night. Uh, Terry, remind me what night, what date it is. October 27th. Is it free? It is free. And you get pizza. Pizza from Paisano's. I don't know if you've had pizza from Paisano's. Really good pizza. So you'll have pizza. You'll come in. You're going to see a talent show. It's going to be a lovely thing. Now, November 12th. We've got a special service. It's an interfaith service. It's a Diwali Indian service. And this is where we come and we recognize the hidden talents within. We have a little practice we use to bring that talent out and let it shine forth in the world. It's going to be a great uh, uh, service, and we're going to have Indian food afterwards, so it'll just be a great time. That's going to be on November 12th. I think those are all my announcements. So to get us started, I know Sam and Lucy has got something great for us. Oh, amen. We said we were contemplating oneness again lately. And this, is, um, this song was inspired to help us learn what it is. A little practice you can do just by looking into the eyes of another person and seeing that sparkle that is the same sparkle in your own eye. 
At least that's how I see the song. I like it. <laughs> and if you want to sing along. Ooh. Just feel your resonance on ooh. ooh. took a long time finding my way no one to say how hard it could ever be I never knew we'd be staring through eyes like these we never lost our way we never lost our way you are you are me we never lost our way you are, you are me. We never lost our way. You are, you are me. We never lost our way. Oh, I am home. Mm. Thank you, guys. Now, y'all have got a, a sound workshop this afternoon, right? We do, yeah. 4.30, come to sing to bliss yourself out. And then at 5.30, we melt into a sound, guided sound journey. Guided, well, it's a meditation guided by sound. And your body just basically heals itself. <laughs> so you get to bliss, you get to melt, and you get to heal. What more do you want? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds wonderful, Lucy. <laughs> All right, to get our service going, we're going to get a reading and treatment, and we got our beautiful Pat Conover coming up to do it. Oh, I'm just climbing. It's going to look out my pain for one minute. <laughs> A short reading from an older Science of Mind magazine called Listen to Your Inner Calm. The spirit is neither sad nor depressed. If you would catch the vision of the joy that should be yours, you must dry your tears, you must lay aside your fears, you must think from the inspirational center within you which is nothing less than the divine in you singing its song of life. The wick of your individual life runs deep into the oil of pure being. 
no matter what confusion appears at the surface of your life, there's always a place of calm at the center of your being. No matter how turbulent the waves may be in the ocean of your experience, beneath there is a changeless peace. Stop and listen to your inner calm. Turn to the deeper something within. You will find that confusion will disappear. Peace comes from a sense of union with the whole. Now for our primitive prayer. The oneness of all of us with the divine spirit is ever present. Of this we are ever aware. I know that every day I have the capacity to be loving, to continue giving, to be joyful. I know that my connection with the divine spirit brings me great joy, which I can share. I give thanks for this spiritual center, home to so many diverse and wonderful people. I give thanks for our leader, Reverend Kane. I give thanks for the messages that are shared here. And I know that all of this is part of me and will continue to be so. I put this message into the universe by saying, and so it is. time I look outside, I remember that I see a dream unfolding before me. Oh, every time I look outside, I remember that the things I see are already within me. Hey, I, hey, I, hey, I. Hey, I, hey, I, hey, I. Cause I remember all that. Ever flowing love. Oh, every time I look outside. Oh, every time I look outside. I remember I see a dream. I remember that I see a dream. Unfolding before. Unfolding before me. Same thing. Oh, every time I look outside, I remember. I remember that I see a dream unfolding before me. I 
Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> so my talk title uh, this morning is Living Well. Living well. I, this week I got really excited about a documentary on Netflix. It's called Secrets of the Blue Zone. Now, it's not the one about the aliens coming to visit us. I watched that one, too. <laughs> you know, one time I got told by an intuitive person that I was an alien from another dimension. I did not take offense by comment. Uh, in fact, I tried to get her to come home and tell my family that. But this one is a, 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 about uh, this guy, Dan Butner, and he's traveled all over the world to research clusters of people that live to be over 100 years old. And he wants to find out, well, how are they doing this and how can we incorporate it in our lives? One place uh, that he visited is Okinawa, Japan. And uh, there they routinely have people to live to be over 100. The interesting thing about this particular group of people is that they were all alive during the Battle of Okinawa, during World War II. And this would have been a horrific experience that they would have had gone through. They would have all had, uh, had lack. They would have seen death and violence up front. Uh, and they would have lost people in their lives, all of them. But somehow they've come through that bit challenging experience with a determination to carry on. And that there's a role for them to play in life. That life's not just an accident. That there's something important for them to do here. Uh, an important book in my life was Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. And he wrote in that book that as long as you have a reason to live, you're going to find a way to live, a way to live. Now, one of the things he's noticed, this uh, uh, guy noticed about the Okinawans, is that when they sit down to eat, they have a way to start their meal, which is a blessing. They bless the company that they're with. They don't eat in their car driving 95 miles an hour. They bless it. People. They bless the, the, the food, and then they make a commitment that they're going to only eat to 80% of being full. They don't stuff themselves. So it's about mindful eating. You know, the uh, French, they tell you, they say, don't deprive yourself of anything. If you, if you want something really good, eat it, but do it slowly and make sure that you're enjoying every single moment of it. So it's not about depriving anything. It's about living as richly as we can, but taking our time. Now, the producer of the series, he also speculates that the Japanese, that they don't, they don't have chairs in their houses. So they are constantly, 20 and 30 times a day, getting up and down uh, from the floor. So he thinks that this keeps them uh, their, their legs strong, their hips strong. So they do not have... Uh, they do not fall when they get older. Falling is one of the uh, uh, leading contributors to death in our society. But they don't have that. They don't have that. The idea of fitness, doing thing, active things throughout the day, runs through all these communities. All of them are doing it. And it's not about going and spending time in a gym. For the Japanese, what they do is they do a little bit of each day, just a little bit. Uh, they also support uh, one another out in communities. They form groups where they support, and they will pool their resources. If one of them starts having trouble, they, they step up, and they try to help them out a little bit. They try to be a bridge 
to a better time. Another place he visited was uh, in Italy, Sardinia. I uh, hear that uh, they have a wonderful, relaxed way of life. They eat pasta, they eat bread, yeah, and they eat olive oil. They live in a mountainous area, so they're constantly climbing up and down stairs. And the older people, their homes are multi-leveled, and the older people stay in these homes. They don't go off to a special place. They don't decide, I'm a certain age, I can't live in a house without stairs. They just incorporate it into their, their daily uh, routines and habits. They avoid stress. They avoid stress. They say the average Sardinian guy, anyway, he's likely to be a sheep herder. He wakes up early in the morning. He goes and he milks the sheep. He takes them out to a pasture so they can eat. He will generally take a nap while they're out eating. Uh, in the afternoon, he gets them back into the, uh, the fenced-in places, and he'll go down to meet his friends in the village and have a drink. They're relaxed. They're enjoying lives. Because it's not merely about reaching to get 100. It's about embracing a well-lived life, one with enjoyment and purpose and meaning, with connection to spirit. My teacher, Kennedy Schultz, he observed that most of us will spend a lifetime saving our resources that largely will go be spent in the last three months of our lives to a hospital that has us hooked up to machinery that they poke and prod us all day long and they feed us food that's not worth eating. This isn't a way to spend the last couple of days on earth. We're here to enjoy. We're here to, to be one another, uh, you know, to be connected. And there is, a better, there is a way to do this. There's a way to do it wherever we are, even with all our, our nicks and bruises, the nooks and crannies of our personalities, the wounds we suffer. This week I stumbled upon a, a, a Japanese concept. It's called kintsuji, kintsuji. And this is about taking broken pottery and mending it back together. And they do it with gold. And so what happens is you take the broken pieces, you put it back together, and you see a beauty that was beyond the original piece. It was in the original piece, but it's the damage that brings the beauty forth. And so they, they say we should, we should think about this in our own lives, that as we get older, that we might have had some uh, challenges, we might have had some mistakes, but that we can pull this back together, and in our brokenness, a beauty can shine forth greater than we had imagined. I think it's also about releasing this idea of perfection and letting that go. You know, I look at out our nation right now, and I'm confused about the level of anger and frustration we have out there. And I wonder, where, do we, where does this all come from? You know, yeah, we have some challenges and there are some things we've got to overcome, but in a lot of ways, we're living in a wonderful time. Just think about your cars. When I was, I was a little kid, even the, the most expensive cars, even the most well-kept cars, they weren't totally reliable. You know, there was always a fan belt that could go out on you, and there you were stuck on the side of the road. I don't even think cars have fan belts anymore. And you get in your car, it's got safety features so that you can, you know, it can give you help about things around you. you. You plug in an address, it will take you exactly where you wanted to go. When we were little, you had to get maps from the gas station and and veritably, mom and dad were going to get into an argument over the maps. Yeah, things are better. The grocery store, you can go to the grocery store, you can get food from anywhere in the world. This past week, I got this wonderful product. It's uh, Indian, and it's got um, uh, coconut milk in it, and lentils, and uh, curry. It's delicious. 
When I was little, my mom decided to make an exotic Italian recipe. This was very exotic for making Georgia. She, she went and got the ingredients the best she could. Unfortunately, in Macon, Georgia, at that time, you couldn't buy ricotta cheese, so she had to substitute it with cottage cheese to make lasagna. <laughs> lasagna with cottage cheese. It was just as delicious as it sounds. But that was the extent of it. And oh my goodness, if you wanted to go get some information, you wanted to know about what people in Sardinia were doing, you had the encyclopedia. And it might have had 200 or 300 words about Sardinia, and that was it. We have the world, the world at our fingertips. And so we're to learn about all of this. We're to incorporate all of this. The, the Internet and our ability to learn from one another and to experience what's going on in the world, it's, it's heightening our vibration. It's increasing our vibration, and it's speeding up. And it's allowing us, if we choose to, to have meaningful relationships, to find purpose, to nourish our bodies with uh, mindful eating and embracing a lifestyle of activity and fun. The Dalai Lama, he says, life is meant to be enjoyed. That's what we're here to do. But too many of us, we live, even though we're in a great time, we're terrified of life. We're afraid of one another. We don't feel at home in the universe. And we don't believe we have a right to be here and we have a right to enjoy our lives. We're being misled by spiritual teachers, politicians, the news media, the medical industry, the uh, insurance industry, that life is to be feared and there's somebody over there to blame. Or there's something lacking in us and they got a product to sell us that'll make us better. Now, one of the suggestions he makes in uh, this series is to disconnect yourself from the, the news. He says none of these people have a cell phone. None of them are checking in with CNN or Facebook or Twitter or anybody else. They're just enjoying and living their lives. Now, I think it's probably a good idea to try to remove ourselves from it, but we're all really too connected with our phones to have that kind of expectation. You know, it, I might as well recommend you meditate three hours a day and only eat tofu. It's a, good, it's a good goal, but, you know, let's be realistic about what we can accomplish. So here's what I would suggest. When you hear something that is not good, let's say what's going on in Israel this morning, a new war has broken out, or Ukraine, or when you hear about doing something, somebody doing something really obnoxious, take the information in, and here's what you can do. You can go do prayer work. You can envision a better life, and you can pray for the person that's being obnoxious. You can see a healing taking place in Ukraine, a healing taking place in Israel. If war can break out, peace can break out as better as well. And it's for us to know that we're not in this alone. It's us and spirit and as the song says, lend a helping hand, put a little love in our hearts. And when we do, we're going to empower ourselves. When we do, Spirit's going to reveal a path for us. Yes, yesterday, as you know, a, a huge group of us were, worked so hard from 6.30 in the morning to 6.30 last night, 12 hours, <laughs> transforming this place and, and making it a space for us to have the medical physical fair, and it was a, a great time. It was hard work, but there was a lot of laughter, and there was some fun. And the, there was something very, there's something very important about being part of a group that's working towards a common good. We've got too much isolation going on right now, and isolation only fosters fear and toxicity. We need one another. We need to be in this active partnership with each other and with spirit. You're not on this journey alone. So I was going home, 
And I was thinking about all the hard work we had put into this, and I thought, well, gosh, is there there's some way we can get we can we can get more profit from it? How can we get more profit from it? So I was thinking about how the other medical physical fairs do. They run their their programs on Sunday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I thought about that. I was like, well, now, gosh, if we did that, we would almost double our income. We do it three times a year. That would almost cut our rent in half for the year, just having that much money coming in. And it would also give us a chance to, for our volunteers to recover. <laughs> they wouldn't have to do all that work within 12 hours. Now, just the moment I had that thought, just the moment I had that thought, my human self came up and said, well, what about Sunday service? You wouldn't be able to do that Sunday service. And then I had the realization, this, this is in Judaism, they talk about Satan, not the way we believe in him. They talk about him as being, uh, well, this is where the devil's advocate comes to mind. He, he's the inquisitor. He's the one, when you have a better idea, he's going to knock it down. And it's not about embracing every idea you have come in to your consciousness, but it's about playing with them, just giving them some energy, give, just giving them some space. Because if you do that, even if it's not the best idea, another one will come. So as I was thinking about, well, what could we do for a Sunday service if we had the psychic? I was like, well, you know what? Maybe we could do special things. Maybe for the... Uh, uh, the spring event, we could go have a picnic out by the, the river uh, uh, in the shores as if they got a beautiful space. Maybe in the wintertime, we'll rent a bus and we'll go down to the uh, Blue Springs and see the manatees out swimming around. Can you imagine how powerful that would be to be in a glass bottom boat over that spring as it's bubbling up and having one of our practitioners do a treatment for us? That would be amazing and powerful. Maybe in the springtime, we find out where Habitat for Humanity, uh, Jimmy Carter's project, is building a house, and we all go volunteer to, to build a house, help them build a house. Now, I don't know if any of that will ever take place. First of all, if I show up with a hammer, Jimmy Par Carter probably is going to send me home just at first looks, because I'll do more damage with a hammer they may give me a roll of duct tape to use. Pretty much any home, any home improvement that I get involved with is going to have a duct tape at some level one way or another. So we don't know. But by allowing ourselves to be open to greater possibilities, by giving them energy, it empowers even better, greater answers for me helping me, raising the vibration of my consciousness, but the consciousness of the whole, allowing maybe somebody for the even sharper uh, mind to get a solution for Israel, to give an answer for Ukraine, to help us come up with ways to end the fear and violence in our communities. When we up our level, it ups the level of all of consciousness so that we can move out and bring more love and joy and happiness. This is what Jesus said. Jesus said, I've come to life so you might have it more abundantly. We've been waiting for 2,000 years for him to come back and do it for us. What if we were to stand up and say, we can create that abundant life through our faith in spirit, our commitment for a better day for ourselves and each other. What if we were to lift our eyes to a greater knowing that there is a way for us to live in peace and harmony. There is a way for us to love one another, to love ourselves, to love life, to be that fountain of wisdom and grace and mercy that God is calling us to be. It's within every one of us, and there's a way for us to step up and shine forth the glory of God. It's the truth in your life this morning. It's the truth in mine, and so it is. Yeah. In glory land that outshines the sun
got a home in glory land that outshines the sun. Look away beyond the blue. I've got a home, yes, I've got a home in glory land. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was thank wonderful. You, thank you, thank you. So now we come to the time we support ourselves and we support this wonderful center because this is an amazing place to be. Where else in St. Augustine on a Sunday morning or are you going to get here, Sam and Lucy, or to get a message of in support and love and encouragement? This is a special place, and your support helps us to keep this place going. So you can help us in a couple of ways. You can volunteer. You can do prayer work for us. And, of course, you can support us in coin. However you choose to support us, if you will, take your intention and place it over your heart and read with me this affirmation of prosperity. I live in a universe of abundance as I freely and joyfully give. I join in the divine flow, and all that I share with life returns to me multiplied abundantly. The ushers are stepped down. Sam and Lucy. 
I am moving on now, the cat is flying by. The moon is with the cowbell in the left turn sky. Time is taking on a share of wrinkle eye. Oh, she's there, even though we can't see her. I am moving on now, you can't describe the flight. Going through the sizes of another time. Sixteen fighters hiding on horizon side. Oh, she's there, even though you can't see her. When you put the seatbelt wrapped around tightly, don't you know it's going to be the fastest way of getting to the next place? Funny how strange the kiddos do that when you never even met. We are the light, we light the way. We are the light, we light the way. The way. The way. We are the light, we light the way. We are the light, we light the way. The way. The way. I am moving on now, you can't believe the flight. Outer space is moving at the speed of light. Inner space is more connected tissue like. Oh, she's there, even though you won't believe her. If you want to find the places where people go to see their big ideas come alive, like the birth of a bionic life, well, then do it, because you won't get anywhere if you're your mouth shut. We are the light, we light the way. We are the light, we light the way. The way. The way. We are the light, we light the way. We are the light, we light the way, the way, the way. Lucy, take it away. Open night, open night, open night, see it. Fires everywhere, stars everywhere. Open night, open night, open night, see it. Fires everywhere, stars everywhere. Open night, open night, open night, see it. Fires everywhere, stars everywhere. Open night, open night, open night, see it. Fires everywhere, stars everywhere. The people who have sat beside young believers on planes and opened up the games. Anything from learning about the things they are aiming towards the dreams they're working for and forgiving their wave of confidence, confidence. When, when they, they, they walked away. We are the light, we light the way, the way, the way. We are the light, we light the way. We are the light, we light the way, the way, the way. We are the light, we light the way. We are the light, we light the way, the way, the way. We are the light, we light the way. We are the light, we light the way, the way, the way. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sarah. And thank you for your support. Your support is allowing this center to grow and to thrive, to be the beacon of love, healing, and, and uh, light. We're like the lighthouse on the shore. We're sending out a beacon of hope, and people are responding. So we thank you. We bless it. We release it. Knowing it does its good and powerful work, returning to us multiplied abundantly. And together we say, and so it is. All right, well, let's close our service with an affirmative prayer. I'm going to do it in the first person. Take it in for yourself. Hold, if I say something that works for you, hold tightly to that. If I say something that doesn't work for you, just let that part slide by. But just know this truth with me this morning. There's but one God and one mind and one power. That power's divine intelligence, perfect love, 
It is the power that spoke the universe into being, and it has spoke my life into being. It called me by name from stardust so that I could be here this morning. And it has given within me every bit of intelligence and wisdom and energy I need to move forward into life and to bring forth a wonderful and abundant, loving and healing and healthy life for me to be able to experience and witness God's love made manifest. So here today, I know the truth about myself. I let go of every idea of lack and limitation. I've played with those small ideas long enough. I'm breaking their bondage, and I will never more hold myself back. This morning, I am lifting my eyes up to a better idea for myself, that I am the child of God, the fount of glory, here to experience every bit of God's love, God's joy and blessings in life. I have come to life to witness how beloved I am. So there is nothing holding me back. There is nothing in my way. I am on the move, and Glory Land is my destination. It's my truth. Every cell of my being radiates this right knowing. And I release this prayer into the mind of God to do its good and perfect, bold and dynamic work, returning to me multiplied abundantly. And together we say, and so it is. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave you with one last idea, and that is your life. Your life, it's not a problem to be solved. It's a miracle unfolding. Your job this week is to go name your miracle, proclaim your miracle, and make it your own. God bless us all. Now let us go be the miracle God is calling us to be. Until we see each other again, this is Reverend Ken wishing you many blessings. I've got a home in glory land that outshines the sun. Look away. I've got a home in glory land that outshines the sun. I've got a home in glory land that outshines the sun. I look away. Thank you guys, we love you.